Next we have Terence Eden with QRpedia. Mm -hmm. was a new QR code thing we popped in. <laughs> I couldn't have put it better myself. Uh, the click appears to have gone, so. Uh, hello everyone, uh, I'm Terence Eden, uh, and I'm going to introduce <coughs> you to QRpedia. Uh, so who am I? Uh, I'm a mobile internet consultant, been doing mobile web since long before it was fashionable. If you're bored during this presentation, go read my blog, it's mobile friendly. Uh, I've been working on this project with Roger Bankin, uh, who's a Wikipedia admin, uh, and is helping us bring this to Derby University and British Museum, and raising funding from the media. So let me tell you a story. Just around the corner from here is the best museum in the world, and that's the British Museum. Uh, anyone been to the British Museum? Put your hands up if you have. Wonderful. And then it's the best, I'll have to do this in three minutes, don't put your hands up. Uh, it's one of the best exhibits in the world, which is the Rosetta Stone, and many, many years ago, learned men used to come from all over the world to examine the Rosetta Stone. But what's the Rosetta Stone like today? Well, not so learned men, lots and lots of tourists crowding around trying to find out uh, about this magnificent, <coughs> magnificent artifact. And uh, what is it that they're learning? Not a lot. This is what the British Museum has all about the Rosetta Stone. Three paragraphs. Rubbish. <laughs> Limited, really limited information. It's monolingual. This is only really good to you if you're English, if you speak English, and it's unchanging. They're, they're, nothing new ever happens on this exhibit. So, what can we do to make it learn it? You know, really, really good educational value material here, yeah? multilingual and continually evolving. What if there were a seamless, this is for the management consultants, what if there were a seamless and low cost way to harness the synergies between the self organising online learning communities and traditional knowledge based gardens and cultural treasures to provide a 360 degree solution to a diverse range of stakeholders? Well, essentially what that means is what if we take museums, slap QR codes on things, and integrate that with Wikipedia? Well, that's what QRpedia is. So, um, don't tell the British Museum, uh, but we snuck in there and uh, we stuck a QR code on the uh, Rosetta Stone. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you're not supposed to do that, but anyway. Um, but we did, and what happens when you scan it? Well, I'll give you a, a quick demo uh, on PowerPoint and then on there. Well, you scan in the QR code, and it takes you to a mobile Wikipedia page. And this works on any phone. Just about this isn't an iPhone or an Android specific, any phone with a, uh, a QR code. Now, 25 to 50% of visitors to UK museums are foreign. Now, I love foreign people, but they don't speak English, which is right bugger when you're designing labels for things. Um, so what can we do to make it work for people who aren't blessed with the gift of speaking English? Uh, well, what QRpedia, it is a gift. What QRpedia does is it recognises the phone's language and redirects it automatically to the correct article in your language. So if you're English, you get to see the Rosetta Stone. If you're German, the Stein von Rosette. And if you're Chinese, anyone read Chinese? Well, that's a Rosetta Stone article in Chinese. Uh, but can we have a quick demo? Can we get the... Uh, get the 30 seconds. Oh, I'm going to have to do this really quickly. So, uh, does this work? Yeah, it does. OK, well, I'll tell you what. Um, while this is working, we're currently doing a trial with Derby Museum. Uh, we're also doing a trial with the National Museum of Computing, uh, which is up in Bletchley Park. Uh, and we've stuck these QR codes all over the place uh, to allow people to uh, scan in and get the information. So there's a QR code. Now, uh, if I do this correctly, so this is an English phone, Scanning it in, great. Uh, and if I do this one, that's the Korean phone scanning it. Oh, the Korean one was already won it. Can I just, well, bring that up? So you can see that scanning exactly the same code. So to recap, we want to stick a QR code on every exhibit in every museum, linked to mobile Wikipedia, automatically detects visitors' language, and it's very, very cheap for museums, art galleries, and other places to do. Uh, thank you very much indeed for your time. So uh, it's not moderated. If you go to QRpedia at the moment, uh, what it does is it takes, you, you paste in the Wikipedia URL and it will generate a QRpedia code. Um, so we, we are looking, we, we've got some stats running to the museum to see how many people are scanning things. Um, so you'd only be able to get out of it what's already in Wikipedia. So if you wanted to put up a QRpedia code for something dodgy that's in Wikipedia, then yeah. Uh, over there. Run, Helen, run. <laughs> uh, do, do you think you're going to expand this to use NFC in the future? Uh, hands up everyone who's got a camera phone. 
Hands up everyone who's got an NFC phone at the moment. One, two, three. Hands up everyone who thinks their next phone will have a camera in it. Thanks, everyone. Hands up everyone whose next phone will absolutely definitely have an NFC reader in it. Okay, the same thing. <laughs> For now, no. This is designed to be mass market, so every tourist who comes to England or anywhere in the world has a camera phone. Uh, so QR codes at the moment are definitely the best, best way to go. Okay, so how do you get over the fact, or are you going to have co promos with uh, carriers because many tourists won't have data here? Yeah, so uh, there's two, two points to that. First is we're using mobile Wikipedia so to reduce data charges because roaming costs uh, an insane amount. Secondly, we're also looking at what we can do with museums to stick Wi-Fi in there, um, and that's still uh, that, that's still quite a large capital outlay for museums, but it's it's a, a very important point. Like super sponsorship opportunities. Yes, if anyone wants to sponsor, um, you can scan in my QR code. <coughs> and see me later. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.